Welcome back to Pirate Studios. Today we're going to do something really weird. Really nerdy. <laughs> so uh, about a month ago, I saw Kai of ML Sound Lab. He was, um, he took ML Oracle, which is a orange amp head, and he ran it out of his interface into the effects loop of his EVH. And I was like, what? What? So my head exploded. <laughs> um, so I asked him about it and he, uh, cause I thought maybe you needed to mess with the impedance, but you do not. So I was like, I'm going to do that. And I want to do it with Gojira. I want to do it with Archetype Gojira. So Gojira is the reason I bought this amp. It was, I was going to get the 6L6, but I did a comparison and I really liked, I just liked the EL34 better. It has a, just, I did back and forth comparisons and really listened and it's a real small, minute difference, but the EL34 has just a little bit more body to it. I won't say low end, I'll just say body. So tube warmth, tube warmth, whatever you want to call it. So that's why I bought this amp. Now I know that they use, Gojira uses stealth amps, but I don't have that kind of money. So I got this used and it has a, uh, a different capacitor or a capacitor taken out on the blue channel. So it's a little bit more dirty than, um, than the standard, uh, EVH 50 watt. So anyway, so what we're going to do is we're going to check out ML sound labs, uh, roots, which is fluffs, which is fluffs, um, EL 34 5150. And, um, we're going to just compare the settings and uh, I'm going to try to tweak this like I, like I have my own app and we're going to just see what the difference is. So it's, it's pretty awesome. And you can do this with any app. So what you need to do is just run your output of like your monitors. Um, of course I, it, it probably needs to be a balanced signal, but I, don't quote me on that. I know, I don't know for sure. I don't know if you can just plug your headphone jack into the back of the effects loop and that would work or not. But I'm coming out of a balanced monitor and I'm running an extension and into the back of it. And um, so I'm going to flip back and forth to hear the difference. Um, so you got that in the back there and it disables all the EQ and it disables all the volumes. So nothing on the front works anymore. You can leave your input plugged in because it's not working anymore. As long as the, as long as your sick, your effects loop is on, it is in control of the amp. Um, so that's why I say caution, please don't go any farther. Don't click this video off until you listen, turn your volume down either on your track in your DAW or turn the output of that's going into the amp, turn the volume of it down before you turn your amp on, um, before you play into it. Cause it's going to be super freaking loud. Um, I did it and it scared the crap out of me because I, I wasn't prepared for that. It was really loud. I like loud, but I just wasn't ready for it. So I don't, you could risk blowing up your, you know, blowing your speakers. If you, if you just all of a sudden, and it's just blast the crap out of you. So turn it down. <laughs> so, um, like I said, so whenever you turn the effects loop on and I made this mistake earlier, I had my effects loop off. Let's put this on the clean channel. Like I said, none of these do anything while the effects loop is on. But I, I turned my, I didn't have my effects loop on and I had it on the clean channel. I was plugged into the effects loop return, return, and I couldn't get no sound. I was like, what the heck's going on? I went, what a bonehead. And I realized that my effects loop wasn't on. So, um, something else that if you don't already have, um, you need to get Bertom denoiser. Um, I'll let you hear. This is. This is what it sounds like if you turn it off. Terrible. So this is free. It takes all that pedal noise and all the 60 hertz hum and all that crap away and it takes it off of your signal. I wish they would make a pedal for your pedal board that did that. It takes all that noise away, but it doesn't gate your signal. So, um, see, I have signal, but it's, it's gating, but not really. Anyway, so let's go back and forth and I'm going to 
try to do this where I'm going to start off with my red channel and uh, then I'm going to kick I'm going to kick the effects loop on so you can hear the difference. And you'll be able to tell that it's my amp and not that by all the noise. And now here's Roots. I didn't, I did not turn the low up. I need to do that. Uh, the high and the presence are pretty much, oh, presence could go up a little bit more. Yeah, that's where I've got mine presence. Now you'll notice that kind of sounded muddy. It's because I forgot to turn the cab section off. So you need to do that too. Because so it didn't sound good because it had this cab too going in to, had a cab emulation going in some cabs. You don't want that. You just want the preamp, the power amp of this. So once again, let's go back to my amp. Now here's Amped Roots. So I, I right away hear that this amp's a little bit more compressed. Um, I do have, I could turn the gain of my preamp down, but I don't think that's gonna help. Roots. My amp. So yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, it doesn't have a resonance knob. This has a resonance knob on the back and I've got it turned up all the way. It, it's doing a pretty good job without it really. So um, let's move on and I would try these other ones, but I, I did buy this. <laughs> I have the full version of this, but I need to get a new um, key because I, I've since installed it with this new computer and I just haven't, just haven't done it. Uh, haven't updated it yet. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna check out Gojira. We're gonna run Gojira through this cab, through this power head, power amp and cab. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna, let's go to just JD Rhythm 1. We're gonna turn the cab section off. And I don't have to mess with the volume of the plug-in because I've got my track turned down right here already. See that? I got that turned down. All right, I'm gonna turn my amp back on. As you can tell. Now go Jira. Not as much bottom in and it's a little bit more bitey. There's an overdrive pedal on. So let's try another one. Um, I did make one that I tried to uh, copy the sound. I just kind of did it by ear. And that's what I called it too. My EVH EQ match by ear. I tweaked this just by listening to it in the room. Now also, I've got my guitar signals on a splitter right now. So one is going, my DI signal, one of them is going to my interface into input four. And then, the, and then my guitar is also going, going to here, doing the front. So when I turn the effects loop off, yeah, you can, I can still play through it. All right. So, um, here's, here's my amp. Here's the Gojira. Oh, turn the cab off. Good Lord. See, that's, uh, that's why you turn stuff down. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, 
yeah, so anyway, that's pretty much it on this one. Um, please subscribe if you're not subscribed. Hit the like button. It's just a thumbs up right under the video. It's not hard. Just boop, click. And hey, I don't want your money. Please share this video. Share any one of my videos that you like, one of your favorite videos. Any of my videos, share them on your social media. Anywhere, share them to a friend. Let them see it. I would really appreciate that more than anything. So it's not about the it's not about the money. It's about the audience. Uh, if there's nobody to play for, what's the point? So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this a try. Try it out on some other amps. Get a, tweak some stuff, and you could do what I did for this video. Try different amp heads into your cabs, whatever you have. If you have an effects loop, which you should have an effects loop on a tube amp. And do some different mic captures. Get some different sounds. You're not just going to, it's not just all about the speaker. They like to say that. It's not true. I've got a video coming out. I've got three different, i got three amp heads now. Three tube amp heads. And all three of them sound different through the same speaker. So that, that whole thing about, oh, it's all about just the speaker, that's a lie. It's not true. It's not just the speaker. It all goes hand in hand. And it's all equally important. Until next time, we'll see you.